आई थिंक आई स्टॉप एट वर्स टेक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स दृढ़ा वर्त सातरयो वात्यारोप धरो हरण कृष्णम नमो भतो गुम नाश क्रोध भूम गोरी भार वृत Having assumed the form of a forceful whirlwind, the demon Trinavarta took Krishna very high in the sky. But when Krishna became heavier than the demon, the demon had to stop his force and couldn't go no further. Krishna giving a lesson, telling one thing in this. to increase our weight increase our weight in the sense not physically to become heavyweight champion no neither a wrestler nor a bodybuilder he is saying to increase weight of the spiritual not the material the qualities of good devotees increase the weight of the good qualities full vaishnava increase the qualities of a real vaishnava and when the good qualities of your all these thing in human life will become heavier then the other qualities are there you cannot destroy or the delete all bad qualities because this world a mixture of good and bad if am i right you all are knowing very well what i will say you are all senior and more knowledgeable understandable so i i cannot say so many things sometimes i feel shy to say something define or say more and more in front of you you all are knowing means increase we have one balance so the bad quality is also in the proper volume is there it will not go it will not go it will be there because this creation is with mixture of both things good and bad and this is for to understand us what is to do what it is what is not to do if only good good if only day day what will happen this uh, means too much burden on the head so the mixture of day and night is there in between early morning is also there godhuli vela is also there all many things mixture is there sorry mixture is there so only good is not there so what we need to do we need to increase the weight of our good vaishnavas qualities living making material less and increasing spiritual more if you ask me i cannot say that material is totally will delete it will be deleted or one can be yeah if a purva sanskara is very high if it is decided in your life that previous life you did so many things definitely nobody can stop you in this life to do because all your insight is very it full of energy that push you if you did last last life lot of bhajan the power of this bhajan energy will push you in this life to go start from there nobody can stop you why i am saying this because i seen so many sadhus how they can do and how a common person like me cannot do like them no forcefully not possible he is getting the benefit what he did in his life past life so according to our individual soul has also each and every soul need to go to radharani they are totally disturbed souls is totally disturbed to reach the only thing 
the soul want to go near to radha rani but the problem the karma the bhoga what we did in the last life we have to pay for that until this doesn't burn the obstacle the troubles in between doing bhajan always comes so that's why it is said the more and more time of your daily life you involve involved in spiritual activities in the form of seva is my form of listening in the form of chanting uh going to the association listening gurus sitting near gurus sitting the same minded people maximum time involvement of this type of activities so this is the meaning that you are increasing the weight of your uh good things in your life that can bring you near the lotus feet of shrimati radhika bad things are there we no need to see towards bad thing it will be there and these things are for other people not for devotees but sometime what happens the other demi goddess gods and goddesses those who are near surrounding shrimati radhika not our sakhis or manjaris no other demi gods and goddesses when they see a common person is reaching to the goal by doing oh we couldn't reach this common person this manushya jeeva doing lot of bhajan my god he will reach that place what to do create some troubles and then they go to ask krishna first prabhu because they know if directly they will go they will be not success if demi gods and goddesses and other goddesses like yam arun varun uh, agni vayu all mani kuber lakshmi they directly cannot reach to devotee to this sir no not possible first they go to their ishta dev prabhu your devotee is there he is doing very hard tapasya a lot of bhajan totally completely engaged we are in danger so we feeling that we are in danger so we also want to be near to you then our ishta dev thinks okay both things will be together one the taste of my devotees will be over uh, also there and they will be also able to know that what type of my devotees so it thing we will, will be clear if my devotee is strong he will not deviate he will win they will lose so our ishta dev say okay go and in, inside also thinking okay let but but our ishta dev is knowing that what type of my devotee if devotee is strong is dev no need to think that what demi gods and goddesses are going to do because demi god and goddesses are also near and dear to our ishta dev we are in the process to reach somewhere they by their good karma or the pious deeds they are already achieved some post some chair they have there for the short time because all the time they change so they come and then say and then they start take the form of a rich person and reach near to devotee with a big mercedes car maharaj i listen your name you great bhajananandi please we also want your mercy we want to do something some seva for you we want to donate something to you please please accept our seva accept our seva if little loose loose devotee little weak devotee my god you see the prabhu mercy my is dev mercy is coming to you i uh, coming to me now they the people are reaching to me wow then this man of pratishtha prestige oh my god i am so famous first disturbance starts from there 
kama krodha loba this can remove but this pratistha the power of prestige is always inside the mind even after reaching somewhere kama after a certain time when your body will not proper the energy and the by the age is not there it will be not there you will be not able to do anything krodha also calm down or the nerves and sub system down then also you will be not angry if you are chanting besides you no much slowly slowly you think i am old i don't have anyone what i will do it can also go but pratistha my god i am something this is always there till the end of the life maybe money greed will go but this prestigious issue of one's life is very very strong till the end of the life and some devotee thinks then they say to this person who came with mercedes what i will do what you want to do okay i am sitting here in the jungle what you will do for me here no facilities and i don't need you go brindavan do the 1000 people bhandara go at the bank of yamuna many poor people are there just collect all of them 1000 2000 people and do bhandara give them prasad a lot make nice things offer radha rani thakur ji and food them and give a nice dakshina of 500 rupees each that will be your seva i will be happy you no need to do anything special for me this will be your seva then i can say no maharaj i want to do here i want to if how you can be here in the jungle mosquitoes are there flies are there rain is there summer is there at least i make one shade for you teen shade for you not i am not making any building teen shade for you <laughs> then devotee said aha okay today teen shade slowly slowly the rcc roof will come eh? then slowly slowly one is stored then the marble tiles granite then the western toilet will come eh? then the nice kitchen then oven geyser fan ac slowly 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 increase then oh i did bhajan my bhajan i know this i don't want your any seva you go what i said to do going vrindavan do at the bank of yamuna river yamuna there you do seva i don't need your seva i will be happy if you will do this seva this happens many time i kesha baba was saying that this happens when the bhajananandi go in deep bhajan troubles come in front of so when we will increase our we will make our self heavier krishna is saying make yourself heavier not lighter otherwise trena varta will your mind trena varta will spin you somewhere in the sky that is come totally meaningless that will not fruitful or helpful in your life better to make heavy to stop this trinavarta mind so krishna is giving here this indication more what prabhupad is saying in purport there is a competition in yogic power between krishna and trinavarta trinavarta sura by practicing mystic yoga asuras generally attain some perfection in the eight siddhi eight type of different siddhis are there or perfection namely anima lagima mahima prapti prakamya istitva vasitva and kama vasayita but although a demon may acquire such power to a very limited extent he cannot complete the mystic power of krishna for krishna is yogeshwara the source of all mystic power yatra yogeshwara hari no one can compete with krishna it will be a fake dream who someone thinks that to compete with krishna 
sometime of course having acquired a fragmental portion of krishna's mystic power asuras demonstrate their power to the foolish public and assert themselves to be god some very sin- innocent people can caught by, by their asuras word and they thinks ha ha you are you are like hiran kashyapu and other hiranyaksh hiran kashyapu was saying i am the god who is vishnu i am your god by he acquired some little power by the blessings of brahma ji and the mind became crazy couldn't tolerate or couldn't di- digest this boon this gift and become crazy it happens with us also so our digestive power should be very strong along with mental power not knowing that god is the supreme yogeshwara here also we see that trinavarta assumed the mahima siddhi and took krishna away as if krishna were an ordinary child trinavarta was also siddha he got the power of mahima siddhi and he took krishna as an ordinary child but krishna also became a mystic mahima siddha ah uh, all kind of siddha is alone krishna or radha rani when mother yashoda was carrying him he became a heavy that his mother who was usually accustomed to carrying him could not bear him and had to place him down on the ground mother also did this thus trinavarta had been able to take away him in the presence of mother yashoda but when krishna high in the sky assumed the mahima siddhi the demon unable to go further this demon's mahima siddhi was this but the krishna who produced the all siddhis who is the master all siddhis are joining their hands standing in front of krishna which siddhi can work in front of him krishna yogi shwara tatra all mystics are stand mystic power standing joining with their hands in front of krishna which mystic power will work in front of him this trinavarta forgotten and we when the trinavart enter our life we also forget <laughs> we also forget the same thing like this we think that we are siddha now what will happen and at the same time something happens little mistake destroys many good things in life a generally the nature of the people when you are doing good 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 every all side everywhere yeah ah, good good this world this material world is not ready to accept your one mistake you did billions of good things all they will forget in the moment when you did one mistake when it happens when trinavarta enters ah uh, one trinavarta will destroy all every good things for a moment just mind spinning and you are doing something all what you do good all in the become muddy the demon unable to go further was obliged to stop his force 
and come down according to Krishna's desire. We don't, we don't know why we are so worried. <laughs> Trinavarta couldn't tolerate the weight of Sri Krishna when he is going up in the sky when he started increasing his weight. Trinavarta become helpless. The mind we can, will need will become helpless. Mind has nothing. Different desires cannot disturb you. This is the promise of our Ishtadev, Radharani promising. Nothing can disturb you if you came to me and in your life, if I am only there, except any other thing, if you are going 10 places, nothing will work. This is the meaning, Sarvan Dharman Paritajya. You no need. There are no needs. They are saying that you come. No. They are saying you no need when I am there. You no need to go anywhere when I am there. Are we, we should understand this mercy. Many of us don't recognize this mercy that what they are saying. All Siddhis, all demigod goddesses joining their hands, standing in front of them and they are giving assurance to the devotee. Okay, no problem. Come to me. Yoga Kshemam Mohamayam. I am ready to bear all of your burden. So we as a devotee, as a Vaishnava should understand. We are understood, actually. Just little need to move on this action. We know everything. Small to big, we all know. Just sometimes this laziness stops us. So we should pray to Radharani. Oh Swamini, this laziness, when it will go away? And when that 24-7 my mind will be in your lotus feet? When this time will come? That I will be focused completely on you, not here and there. Please, please, oh Swamini, please help. Please help. Please give your mercy. Please give your mercy. I'm burning. This wall is burning me. I'm completely from inside. I'm anxiety, full of anxiety, full of anxiety. What I am thinking, even. What I am enjoying in the material, even in the material bag. This I know, this is not for me. But what to do, my senses, I am so bounded with my senses. Please, I am not able to control over my senses. I am not able to control on my anything that stops, come near to me. Give your mercy. It can happen only because of your mercy. You can do only this. Pray, crying, tears should come while saying all these things. When tears will come, when you will really feeling that what is the meaning of suffering and what is the meaning of real bliss, blissful situation. This material world attracts us sometimes towards many nonsense. Again, I am saying, I cannot say that we, will, we can be free from totally material what we need. To legitimate this material desire. And by doing legitimating, legitimating, by doing praying, 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 definitely because our Radharani is not like that. Our Mohan is not like that. Long time crying, then one day they listen. And when they listen, then all doors are open for us. For what? To enjoy there. Yeah, really enjoyment there. But which enjoyment? Enjoyment of Seva. Now I am in your lotus feet. I don't want to go anywhere. And please, you also don't let me go anywhere. Because I came with the desire that I want to come you. Because by the, by the date of the by the day of the birth, 
it is decided that a jiva is made for come near to your lotus feet but in between because of some disturbances for good fullness doesn't allow to come near to you but now by the guru kripa i know that what is the way what is the method what is the formula to go come near to you so you and gurudev both together help me give your mercy because without mercy nothing happens also possible in my life because my qualities are not like that austerity i cannot do too much bhajan i cannot do but one in thing is there that my mind in 24 hours at least half to half of the day coming towards you so you are merciful you are karuna mai i know you cannot see your child in different difficult situation if child is praying every day because you are swamini the swamini always take care of dasis and dasis where they will go dasis are dasis they don't want anything except your seva of your lotus feet they don't want anything we dasi don't want anything else please you understand the situation of a jiva please take us under the custody of your lotus feet we want to be, become a prisoner in your this beautiful jail and don't want to come out again one should not therefore compete with krishna's mystic power devotees automatically have all mystic power you see automatically we have some power but this forgetfulness cover our power negligence towards our duties our some practice this mystic power is covered but they do not like to compete with krishna but this our mystic power is not with compete to with our ist deva because we are in dasya mood seva kam seva mood seva seva ka never want to compete in instead they fully surrendered and their yogi power is demonstrated by krishna's mercy your yogic power our yogi power is demonstrated by krishna's radharani mercy not by our self point to be noted this point is to be noted forcefully not to do anything in street they fully devotees they fully surrender to krishna and their yogic power is demonstrated by krishna's mercy that's why praying for the mercy devotees can show mystic yoga so powerful that a demon could not even dream of it this is also said here humbleness of a devotee never bring this yogic power out trinada pi sunichena because it is said our our acharya we have everything we have all power but we no need to show 
because our acharya and our ishta dev is there to do this no need to do no need to go in argument no need to go in any fighting no need to go become any jealous let the people do what they are doing okay ha all vaishnava they are also vaishnava i also vaishnava vaishnava aparad keep away our self from vaishnava aparad biggest aparad even krishna or radharani cannot remove it the biggest aparad on the path of bhajan that stops your all activities you will be nowhere on the path of spirituality you need to be very careful doesn't matter no need to check that which quality is which type which level of vaishnava vaishnava means mensava this kanti came tilak came what is the symbol of the tilak if any was putting this tilak means he is putting this tilak for takur ji for radha rani not to show himself that oh i am so i am good looking the sikha is someone is keeping is this ki keeping for takur ji this should be very clear to anyone vaishnava is not keeping all these things for showing this is the shringar decoration of takur ji that's why a devotee also keeping the same decoration of takur ji this sikha is not the symbol of any decoration the tilak is not symbol of any decoration this kanthi is not the symbol of any decoration the jagyopabit the sacred thread is not the symbol of any decoration this is the shringar the decoration of takur ji our ishta deva that's what we are doing because how they will recognize us they recognize oh my type of decoration oh he is mine it does not mean that without these things that he doesn't recognize he recognizes but when he see oh my devotee is not forgetting to keep my decoration on him not forgetting very precisely every day without fail he is putting this very nice so these are the process vaidhi process to go in raganuga after reaching on the level of raga raga ruga no problem but in the beginning these etiquettes we have to follow because our gurudev is putting this why he is putting and we will not maybe in the western world when you go to work this is a different thing because of some special reason you cannot okay but other places when the gathering of devotee when you coming vrindavan no need to forget this and even when you are free in a, your country you should put this is my saying as i feel <coughs> but they never try to demonstrate it for their personal sense gratification they have yogic power devotee but the real devotee never demonstrate these powers whatever they do is for the service of the lord only seva and therefore they are always in a position superior to that of the demons this powerful demon with all siddhis are nothing in front of a devotee there are many karmis yogis and gyanis who artificially try to compete with krishna like osho he said i am bhagwan osho in india one preacher he was putting bhagwan in front of his name bhagwan rajneesh he decided himself that he is bhagwan and thus ordinary foolish people 
who do not care of here shrimad bhagavatam from authorities consider some rascal yogi to the bhagavat bhagwan the supreme personality of godhead and some people come in the influence of this type of cheater and they start follow this type of cheater who say themselves that we are i am bhagwan some innocent people that they are is covering in front of their eyes they cannot understand what is the real meaning of bhagwan who can be a real bhagwan they are in trouble at the present moment there are many so called babas who present themselves as incarnation of god by showing some insignificant mystic wonder and polish people regard them as god because of lacking knowledge of krishna no knowledge then definitely problem is there text 27 any question if coming in your mind you can ask तमाशमान मनिमान आत्मनो गुरुमतया गले गृहित उत सृष्टु नाश क्रोधत अद्भुतार भूकम बिकॉज ऑफ कृष्णा वेट तृणावर्ता कंसिडर्ड हिम टू बी लाइक ए ग्रेट माउंटेन और ए हंक ऑफ आयरन बट बिकॉज कृष्णा हैड कॉट द डीमन्स नेक द डीमन वॉज अनेबल टू थ्रो हिम ऑफ the demon was trying to throw krishna that to get rid of him but krishna was holding his neck with both of his hand the demon was unable to throw him out he therefore thought of the child a wonderful since he could neither bear the child nor cast aside the burden when we increase our demoniac weight krishna is also become the same weightful weightful means what this weight is it turned into waiting waiting list how long you have to wait you don't know because your this weight the demoniac weight is higher so krishna is saying wait wait now wait 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 because you increasing this weight now you wait you wait you didn't you cannot come now first you make this down then my weight hand will go off and then this this will go higher my right wait will go higher until they said wait wait because you you increase demoniac weight so krishna radharani say wait your time is not now so this weight change in this weight wait wait <laughs> this is my thinking Purport. Trinavarta intended to take Krishna up in the sky and kill him, but Krishna enjoyed the pastime of riding on Trinavarta's body. And traveling for a while in the sky, Krishna was enjoying. Wow, nice time! You brought me. for a holiday area here so windy up from here i can see my brajwasi nicely where are my cows who is doing what and the how nice cold wind is here because of you then why i should hold unhold you krishna was holding him 
nicely. Does Trinavarta attempt to kill Krishna failed? While Krishna Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Vigra enjoyed the pastime. This Leela Krishna enjoyed a lot. Now, since Trinavarta was falling because of Krishna's heaviness, he wanted to save himself by throwing Krishna off from his neck. He wanted that Krishna should, so he was doing like this, that Krishna should go off. But was unable to do so because Krishna held him very tightly. Krishna saying, You give me hand, I am not catching. I am not catching easily. But if I catch, then it is difficult. Impossible. So when we love Krishna and Krishna likes our love, then it is very, not very, it is impossible. People come Vrindavan, but it is very difficult to go from Vrindavan. Why? It's not like this. We are trying. Not possible. His holding is very tight. Billions times than ours. Our make and we lose. He is very tight. Consequently, this would be the last time for Trinavarta's yogic power. Now it's time to Trinavarta to finish. This would be the last time for Trinavarta yogic power. Now he was going to die by the arrangement of Krishna. Jai Jai Sri Radhe. Like this, Krishna could able to end of the Trinavarta. Text 28. Gal Grahan Nichisto Daityo Nirgat Lochana Avyakta Ravo Nefatat Sahabalo Vaya Subraje With Krishna grasping him by the throat, Trinavarta choked, unable to make even a sound or even to move his hand and legs. His eyes popping out. The demon lost his life and fell along with the little boy down the ground of Praja. Eyes came out and he fell down on the land of Praja. Text 29. Tamantarik Shat Patitam Shilayam Vishin Sarvabayavam Karalam Puram Yatarudra Sarena with them Istrio Rudatio Tadrishu Sametaha Tam Antarish Shat Patitam Shilayam Vishina Sarva Vayanam Karalam Karalam Puram Yatarudra Sarena Vidha Striyo Rudayato Dodrush Sameta While the gopis who had gathered were crying for Krishna, the demon fell from the sky onto a big slab of stone. His limbs dislocated and as he had been pierced by the arrow of Lord Shiva like Tripura Sura. He was looking that when Shiva killed this uh, Tripurasura, the same condition was here of this uh, Trinavarta. For purport, in transcendental life, as soon as devotees of the Lord merge in lamentation, 
they immediately experience the lord's transcendental activities and merge in transcendental bliss actually such devotees are always in transcendental bliss and such apparent calamities provide a further impetus for that bliss in transcendental life as soon as devotees of the lord merge in lamentation they immediately experience the lord's transcendental activities and merge in transcendental bliss after listening of the past time of krishna what happens but the situation of devotee they completely lost in the leela actually such devotees are always in transcendental bliss siddha are always and such apparent calamities provide a further impetus for that bliss and then in between to disturb them something comes in between to disturb this transcendental devotees the dev- uh, the life of the tra- uh, de- uh, transcendental life of the devotees translation the gopis immediately picked krishna up from the chest of the demon and delivered him free from all inauspicious nest to mother yashoda the gopis immediately picked krishna up from the chest of the demon and delivered him free from all inauspicious nest to mother yashoda because the child although taken into the sky by the demon was unhurt and now free from all danger and misfortune the gopis and cowherd men headed by nanda maharaj were extremely happy proper the demon fell flat from the sky and krishna was playing on his chest very happily uninjured and free from misfortune nothing happened to krishna what will happen not at all disturbed because of the being taken high in the sky by the demon the demon took him high on the sky he was not affected by this krishna was playing and enjoying laughing <laughs> as a child laughs this is ananda chinmaya rasa vigraha krishna is ananda chinmaya rasa vigraha in any conditions krishna is satchit ananda vigraha he has no unhappiness others might have karma how that he was in difficulty but because the demons chest was sufficiently broad to play on the baby was happy to all respects it was most astonishing that although the demon went to so high in the sky the child did not fall down therefore the child had been saved virtually from the mouth of death now that he was saved all the inhabitants of vrindavana were happy
अहो भक्तात्य अद्भुत वेश रक्षसा बालो निवृत्ति गमित अभ्यघात पुनः हिंसक स्वपापेन भी हिंसित कला साधु समत्वेन भयाद भी मुच्य थे इट इज मोस्ट एस्टोनिशिंग दट ऑल दो दिस इनोसेंट चाइल्ड वॉज टेकन अवे बाय द राक्षसा टू बी इटेन ही वॉज रिटर्न विदाउट हैविंग बीन किल्ड और इवन इंजोर्ड बिकॉज दिस डीमन वॉज एनवियस क्रूएल एंड सिंफुल he has been killed for his own sinful activities this is the this is the law of nature every action has an has as a reaction and a sinful person is always vanquished for his sinful life purport krishna conscious life means innocent devotional life innocent not becoming so much becoming cheater tricky no and a sadhu is one who is fully devoted to krishna As conferred by Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, ninth chapter thirty, sloka, bhajate maam ananya bhag sadhur eva mantabya. Anyone fully attached to Krishna is a sadhu. Nanda Maharaj and the gopis and other cowherd men could not understand that Krishna was the supreme personality of Godhead, playing as a human child, and that his life was not in danger. Under any circumstances, <laughs> some are highly unbelievable for them that as a child he is not in danger. Rather, because of their intense parental love for Krishna. they thought that krishna was an innocent child and had been saved by the supreme lord in the material world because of intense lust and desire for enjoyment one becomes implicated in sinful life more and more kamesha krodha esa rajyo guno samudbhava therefore the quality of fear is one of the aspects of material life ahar nidra bhaya maithun cha so these are the quality of fear in material life but if one becomes krishna conscious the process of devotional service shravanam kirtanam diminishes one's polluted life of material existence and one is purified and protected by the supreme personality of god dead sarvatam swakata krishna punya sarvana kirtana in devotional life one has faith in this process such faith is one of the six kind of surrender rakshasyati vishwas vishwasa this in hari bhakti vilas 11 chapter 676 shloka sravatam swakatha krishna punya stavakrita in devotional life one is faith in the process faith in this process such faith is one of the six kind of surrender rakshiyat rakshishyatiti vishnava one of the process of surrender is that one should simply depend on krishna 
convinced that he will give one all protection that krishna will protect his devotee is a fact and nanda maharaja and the other inhabitants of vrindavana accepted this very simply although they did not know that the supreme lord himself was present before him them there have been many instances in which a devotee like prahlad maharaj or dhruva maharaj has been put in difficulty even by his father but has been saved under all circumstances i think i will take leave now if any question is there any asking is there you can ask thank you sachinandana ji jai ho chandram ji <laughs> So, from your letter today, sorry, we we can say, can we say that every suffering, every distress, is a blessing of Radha Rani, right? Yeah, blessing is always there if you are enjoying or suffering. her blessing is always there but you are true that a devotee take this is the nature of a true devotee then in means uh, what is he said in the different situation even in our fortunate situation a devotee mind think like you what you said no problem i will accept this is the blessings as a blessing of radha rani this is the nature of true devotee and how this become possible thinking like this because satat yukta naam always always in katha kirtan listening and the devotee a uh, chanting reading inside belief too much dedication too much faith you must believe overall or too much prema so this is true but everybody cannot think like this this is also true this is a process but radha ras rani mercy on you sundaram prabhu ji that you are able to think like this so you you <laughs> this is a, we are fortunate that radha rani accepting you our blessings head uh, his her hand is on your head <laughs> you are thinking like this. i pray for that day sorry i pray for that day <laughs> she, she bless me <laughs> yeah bless maybe, you me where i am you are saying maybe by, maybe by your mercy <laughs> no 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 by shrila gurudev's mercy by the mercy of gauranita by the mercy yeah like you are my family member so if some situation with you is not favorable and uh, it's some trouble with you this is my duty as a family member that i will pray for radharani 
if any devotee if any of my family member is in trouble this is my duty it should be my duty to pray to radha rani that help this devotee or this my family member to come out of this difficult situation we all need this to create this we all need this because we are one family and family means taking care each other in any way in any mode of caring by praying physically mentally financially all sides by talking by listening by sharing by giving by taking all this becomes our duty who will take care if we will not take care each other who will take care after radha rani and thakur ji radha mohan is there no doubt but they also work through the member of the same family themselves also they appear but by the time they don't come they just motivate someone that go such and such your family member one vaishnava is in this difficult situation go and help then this message reach to some vaishnava and then they are ready to help this is true thank you very much i am very sorry that last for some any kind of reason i was not able to join last class actually I don't want to miss so please pray for me that i should not miss any sunday without shrimad bhagavatam to so get the chance to be with you so if you will pray automatically whatever is coming it will be removed and in between maybe i will try wherever i will be to continue shrimad bhagavatam i will bring with me and will try to continue this classes if even after staying in europe next month i will try at my level best because i am also enjoying i don't also don't want to miss the moments thank you very much <laughs>